Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to me since it's been such a long time since I've done a YouTube video. My name is Michael Alexander and well, today I'm gonna actually try and make a new YouTube video and it's gonna be a repeat from one of my older videos. So, let's get at it. So today's video is going to be about what are my favorite plugins because even though I'm not on YouTube at the moment, I am still an active photographer and it is my full-time career. And since last I've been on YouTube, we've had some awesome new plugins come our way. So let's talk about them. So the first one is an oldie but a goodie, but it's not actually old, it's actually new. That is MBP Freakcept. Now I used to use MBP Freakcept 2.0, but since the M1 chip came out, Photoshop had to do a couple of updates and it no longer worked on the systems. So the people at MBP had to make a brand new version of it. And that is the new Freakzip, which is Freakzip 3. This thing already comes with a bunch of new things that weren't in the old one. Similarly, on the manual settings, you are able to go through Gaussian, Surface and Medium and you can make yourself a whole bunch of presets, which is awesome because all you need to do is once you've decided one, you just press this plus button and there you go. But it's got something new. It's got a little bit of AI in it since AI is all the craze. Now you can go auto portrait, which I love because sometimes I'm not exactly sure which settings I should choose because unless you're very familiar with the way your workflow goes and for everybody who's starting out in photography and doing frequency separation, this is great because if you don't exactly know what you're looking for, this one, you can just click on it and you can now decide what type of, you know, smoothening do you want to have happen. So you can either go normal, rough, which means, you know, more texture and it even just explains to you on the panel or tight, which is less texture. I normally just keep it at normal because that's normally where I work and all you do is press play and now the computer is going to do the rest. And there you go. It is now decided these are the adequate settings for you to use. And you can start frequency separating or skin smoothing. And the way you know I normally do it is I create a duplicate layer. I go to black and white. And as you can see, I already have my mixer brush open. And I just start brushing. But this is not a tutorial, so we're not going to do the whole skin smoothing thing right here on camera. Now let's talk about my second plugin that I've been using this year. Now if you're like me, you get inspired about other people's work and you get inspired about magazines. You see that nice editorial shot they got and it's advertising this new perfume or something like that. And you're like, fuck, I really want those colors in my image. How do I get there? Well, MBP CMX2 does just that. It actually analyzes other images and steals their color grade. So let's check it out. So we're gonna use the same image that we did now to add a new color grade to. And the image I've chosen is this one by Dior. And it's one with Charlize Theron in the image. And I kind of really like this, well, yellow golden glow. You know, this just monochromatic look that they've got in this image. And I don't really know how to get there just all by myself. Luckily, I don't have to. I can just use CMX2 which is awesome because all I need to do now is analyze the color profile. Boom, it is now decided these are the colors in the image and you can easily choose how many different samples you want to take. You want to take eight, you want to take three. You can also decide on blocking them out, like where the, you don't want them to add color. You can even decide on the level of smoothness of the color grade. But we're just going to let the computer do it all by itself. So because this is not a demo, this is just me showing you my favorite plugins. And then all we do is apply grade. And there we go. We have now added the golden gradient, this one, to here. Now, this might be a little bit heavy, so we can now just Reduce the opacity a little bit. And we got a whole new color grade, a nice golden look on our model here. Really awesome tool and you can do it with multiple different images 
and it's always just fun to play if especially if you really just enjoy color grading and you want to just see what different color grades you can steal from movies just take a screenshot of your favorite movie and you can just scan it and add it to one of your images such a fun thing to just sit and play with and i've played with this thing for hours and just for reference this is what the image looks like after i've edited it with cmx2 and freaksep all together until where i want it so yeah before after before after yeah and this is with cmx2 i'm very happy with those results now on to number three all right so plugin number three this last plugin is new to my workflow but it's such a powerful tool that i'm really really excited to play with it and it just opens up a lot of more possibilities for my style of workflow and that is oniric now what oniric does it creates glows and highlights and blooms and the way it does it it isolates highlighted areas and you know blown out areas you know mainly the whites in your image to create you know the source of light which it's going to be faking in your photograph so let me show you we're going to be using this photograph with all those light bulbs behind it and this is fairly new to my studio as well so oniric was kind of essential for this photo so as you can see, Oniric makes a duplicate of your photo, so you don't affect your main edit. So now it allows you to play on this without affecting the initial edit if you don't want to continue. And what's awesome is, as you can already see, it's created this big bloom effect from the original. So this is the original. This is the one we're working on. As you can see, it's very blown out right now. But you can now easily bring that down by adjusting the gamma so it doesn't affect the whole image and you just have a little bit of a bloom and the same with the exposure if you want to just push that up and you can play with this however you want right and you can play with the intensity you can also play with the angles and you know you can create a bunch of cool little effects which i'll show you now you can now also change the color which is my favorite part because you know now we can really get creative and as you can see we've got some reds going right now and you can create it you can control its saturation so i am a big fan of the red but you know it's a bit too intense so now we can just play and let's see kind of like look at the teal the green green color maybe you like blue and you can oh that's purple that's actually pretty cool i really like the purple um and as you can see you can just really find how it works and what's awesome is you can also see when you click on x-ray it shows you the areas that it's actually working from and the areas that it's adding the effects to so what's nice is if you've got a little bit of rim light oniric sees that and adds the color to the rim light so the rim light's not one color and you know the glow is a different color so it adds that to the rim light of your subject as well and if you click this one you can also just only affect that so it's the way it works is when it exports it creates a flattened layer but what i like is i click the mask one so it just exports the highlighted glows area and not the whole um, edited section what's nice is as well on it comes with a bunch of factory presets so like anamorphic blue if you want that like sci-fi look you know or cyber glare i mean you can really just play with this for hours and come up with a bunch of different things right for me i already made a warm glow one for this set of images that i made and this is the look that i came across that i quite liked it was this was the vision i had in my head and honor just helped me get there so much easier without having to go buy the expensive bulbs you know that change the colors to this exact color and all of those other things and then once you've done once you're happy you just say save and on it will run its whole process and create the layer and bring it all the way back to the original file that you were working on as its own individual layer all right that took a minute but it's all done um so yeah as you can see now we have a glow how cool is that and it's a colored glow you know how difficult this is to do just all by yourself and this plugin just does it easily for you i mean that's just fantastic so those are my top three plugins that i currently use at this moment and as you guys can see i've got a lot more running down the side of my computer some we've spoken about some we haven't maybe i should do another video let me know down below in the comments 
But yeah, that is it for now. If you guys are interested in some of these plugins, MBP is kind of hosting a little bit of a giveaway at the moment. So go check that out on their Instagram. It will be linked down below. And yeah, definitely check out Onurix since it's one of my new plugins that I'm absolutely have fallen in love with. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I am somewhat happy to be back. We'll see if we make it a, a regular thing again. It's been a lot of fun actually filming again. Um, yeah, what sparked this was actually a job for somebody else that actually filmed their YouTube video. So yeah, kind of made me feel maybe I should do it again. Should I? Should I not? Let me know. But that is it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down. I don't know if you can still do that. Um, but yeah, subscribe, do all those things. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you maybe in the next video. But for now, peace.